Coming up on this week's edition of the Sports Desk, it's the return of Ajax. And these local collegiate athletes are polishing up their skills. And where were you when this happened? History was made in Torrance Girls softball. And check this out. We're taking a giant plunge, and you're coming with us. Madison Reynolds has that story. And plenty of youth football camps are in session this summer. And Robbie Fueling takes us to one going on at El Camino College. Get ready, Torrance. The Sports Desk begins right now. Hello and welcome everyone. This is the Sports Desk. Thanks so much for stopping by. A lot of stuff has happened since we last spoke and we'll get you all caught up on that in just a bit. But first, you've got some homework to do. You know the drill, sports fans. Remember to connect with us on social media and share your story ideas, game scores, videos, and photos. Let's do this, people. At the Sports Desk TV is where to find us. And don't forget to use the hashtag the Sports Desk TV when posting, commenting, and sharing. If it's easier, you can email us directly as well. You'd be surprised what you can clean up by simply using some Ajax. And I'm not talking about the cleaning product either, not even close. I'm speaking of the Fram Soccer Club, which is located right here in Torrance. The team, known as Ajax, features some of the best women's soccer players this area has to offer, many of whom are currently standouts at their respective colleges. To give you an idea of just how good this club truly is, Soccer stars like Abby Wambach spent their summers playing here in Torrance. Not too shabby, huh? This was a great way for local college athletes to hone their skills during the offseason and still is today. The Ajax team wrapped up their 2017 season recently with new coaches and plenty of new faces. So what did they learn? Great question. Let's listen to the coaches and players tell us in their own words. Enjoy. We have too many bodies, we pick it off, we find the outlet and we're away. And it's routine, they've not adjusted once. You're dealing with kids who, who they love everything about it, they're doing this out their own time. Um, I mean, during the summer, summer period as a full-time coach, you're doing high school sessions, club sessions, camp sessions, and the days can get long um, and you get very sunburnt. Um, but, so sometimes you think, I just I can't do another session, but to always finish the days with this group, is a pick me up. It's been absolutely fantastic. Coming into my first year here, I didn't really know what to expect, and I didn't really know Jack as a coach or how he coached or anything. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> he's more direct and like long ball. So I think it kind of taught me like adversity and how to play different styles and how to adjust. And playing with a whole new different group of girls was a lot to adjust to. But it, I think it made me more of a all around better player. When you come here and you participate in this league, mm -hmm. what do you get out of it? I think the biggest thing is just um, staying fit and like touching the ball. Like this is a perfect opportunity to just um, touch the ball without like doing it on your own. You, you have more fun playing and being competitive and stuff like that and just staying fresh and sharp. And honestly, um, the competition is really good too. Like the other teams have great players that play at great colleges also. So just playing against them um, makes you a better player, I think. When you come here during the summertime, what is it that helps your game? What, what's so good about it? Um, like she said, just like getting touches on the ball and like your fitness because like game fitness is totally different from like fitness running on the track and just running like just like sprints on the like on the field or whatever by yourself. Game fitness is totally different and like the speed of play is just trying to keep it in rhythm. So when you start, it's like not having to take a couple weeks to get into rhythm. It's just so much faster. If there's pressure on the ball, you can hold. If there's no pressure on the ball, you've got to drop. Why do, I, why do you think I say that? You're not having to coach as much. You're not having to co worry about technique and whatnot. The, the kids are really intrinsically motivated. They're able to really get themselves out there. They, they, have the great, the, they have the fundamentals of the game down and whatnot. So we're not really having to stress those kinds of things. But this is really beneficial from a, 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 a playing standpoint. You get to stay sharp. Because the college season is only 20 games, you know, from that standpoint, it's uh, it, it's really beneficial for the kids to, to have this style of play and this level of play on a weekly basis. Great stuff. These young ladies are making all of Torrance very proud. For more information on the Ajax team, you can visit their website, framsoccer.com forward slash Ajax WPSL. Now that's all one word. 
You can also follow the Fram Soccer Club itself on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook using the handle at Fram Soccer Club. All right, back in 1951, it was New York Giants third baseman Bobby Thompson who hit the shot hurt round the world. It was a walk-off home run that beat the Brooklyn Dodgers, giving the Giants the National League pennant. Let's fast forward to the present day, 2017, where we have Jade Bayless of the Torrance Girls Softball 12U Select Team hitting the shot heard round Torrance, California. Oh, this was big. Trust me. That walk-off hit was at the conclusion of a 10-inning game that went to three international tiebreakers in the quarterfinals and officially ended after 11.30 p.m. The victory gave the 12U Select Team the Southern California Championship which was the first time a Torrance Girls Softball League team had won states in the league's 21 years of existence. Wow. Hey, let's relive the shot heard round Torrance, shall we? Crank up the audio, people. Just going down, man. No, no, wait. Come on, Kendall. Come on, Go crazy, Torrance, go crazy! I love it. Kendall Holloway scored the game-winning run, by the way. The 12U Select team is off to Portland, Oregon to compete in the Western Nationals, which will be held July 31st to August 6th. These girls are currently ranked number one in all of Southern California. They are 16-0 in championship bracket play, 39-5 this summer, and 53-6 since the beginning of 2017. Good luck in Portlandia, and thank you for making all of Torrance proud. This is so cool. Wow. And the good news doesn't stop there. We have more local teams making all of us proud here in Torrance. How about the Torrance 15 and under Babe Ruth All-Star team? They scored 20 runs between the third and fifth innings in their game against Westchester. The 20-2 victory happened in the finals of the 15-year-old Southern California Championships. That win earned Torrance a berth in the Pacific Southwest Regional Tournament taking place in South Lake Tahoe. If they win that tournament, they'll earn a return trip to the World Series in St. Louis. How cool is that? Best of luck, guys. Tis the season for youth football camps. It's pretty safe to say there's a bevy, a bastion, a plethora, a cornucopia of them going on right now. One of the more popular camps is taking place over at El Camino College. The Warriors football coaching staff devotes a lot of time and effort into their youth camps, and it certainly shows. Now, many of us know what the big kids do when they go to football camp, right? But what about the little kids, like ages 5 to 13? Is it really any different for them? Sports desk reporter Robbie Fueling went camping recently, and he has our story. Right now, I'm standing on the El Camino College football field where dozens of young athletes are attending a youth football camp to improve their skills for the upcoming season. Here's a look inside how these coaches are getting these players football ready. Football season is just weeks away, and the El Camino youth football camp is providing young Torrance athletes an opportunity to learn the fundamentals of America's most popular sport. We step by step from stretching, to footwork and, and speed and conditioning to actual fundamental drills. I learned how to play running back, quarterback, um, corner, and defensive end. In addition to learning the ins and outs of each position, the players also discover how to have a fierce competitive spirit. It's always competitive. There's always some, like some drill where you're trying to beat another person while having fun. The drills are challenging as well. The coaches push players to their limits in order to keep them in good condition for the season. The drills always make me active. It just, when you're at El Camino these days, you never stop moving really, except for water breaks. This is the fourth year of the El Camino youth football camp. Torrance local coach Avalar has made it his goal to train young aspiring football players and give back to the community he was once raised in. One of the one things I wanted to do is get the community involved. I'm from the neighborhood. You know, I lived in Torrance and I grew up here, so I like to give back to the kids and do the things that I did when I was growing up. 
With all the coaching and training this camp provides, these players end up having a great understanding of what football is all about, which makes them better athletes and better competitors because of it. We gotta go all the way back to the basics. Gotta teach them how to do it right, be safe, because it's a great game. You know, it's a fun game and, and without the fundamental skills, then it's not as fun as it should be or as safe. Robbie Fueling reporting for the Sports Desk. Thank you, Robbie, for that report. You'll hear more from Robbie later in our program. If you'd like to find out what's going on with all the Warrior football camps, and they have just a few, I'm just saying, you can check them out at warriorfbcamp, all one word, dot com, and they'll be able to answer all of your questions. Okay, everyone, this show is about to take a plunge. And that's because we're talking about swimming, of course. The Plunge, right here in Torrance, offers a wide variety of options for anyone learning how to swim or merely practicing to get better at it. Most of us are not Michael Phelps, Missy Franklin, or Katie Ledecky, but let's be honest, everyone should know how to swim for safety reasons, and the instructors at The Plunge take great pride in teaching people the basics and also making it fun. Our very own Madison Reynolds stopped by The Plunge recently, and she files this report. The Victor E. Benstead Plunge has been keeping the people of Torrance cool for many years. And today I got an inside look on why everyone should dive right in on what they have to offer. We have program, first of all, from all ages. Whether you're an infant, about one and a half years old, to an adult, we cover everything. We have leisure activities like rec swim, we have physical activities like lap swim, and also swim lessons. One of the many lessons that the plunge offers is a parent-child session that helps the new swimmers get comfortable in the water for the very first time. I think swimming is one of the most important things you can teach your kid. And I think them having the confidence in the water and knowing how to swim is amazing. And they should, everybody should take advantage if they can. There's nothing quite like a refreshing day at the pool. And here at the Torrance Plunge, having fun under the sun is what they're all about. You get to swim in water and you get to do fun things. You can dive, you can put your head under water. In addition to keeping the pool safe for all those in attendance, one member of the plunge staff opens up about his favorite part of the job. Seeing the kids smile at the end of the day. It's so awesome being able to teach a kid for just two weeks, seeing them progress along the way, and at the end of those two weeks, they're off swimming laps across the pool, and you know that you made a difference in that child's life. Reporting from the Torrance Plunge, I'm Madison Reynolds for the Sports Desk. Thank you for that report, Madison. If you'd like to learn how to swim or just sign up for some swimming classes in general, please visit torrentca.gov to research the many options the Plunge has to offer. You can also call them directly at 310-781-7113. Swimming is very important. So sign up today. Plus, it's also hot out right now, which means jumping in a pool is always a great idea. Just make sure you actually learn how to swim first. Okay, we're going to take a quick break here on the sports desk, but don't you go anywhere. We still have lots of stuff to talk about, Torrance, including this. Coming up next, tennis anyone? This youth camp here is serving up pure fun. Madison Reynolds tells us why. Plus, these ladies just love playing the game of golf, and they've been playing it for a very long time. Robbie Fueling has their story, and Madison teaches us how to play bocce ball. Yep, I said it, bocce ball. You won't want to miss this. You're watching the Sports Desk. Tell a friend. As a matter of fact, don't stop there. Tell two friends. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, everyone. Don't forget to follow us on social media, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Share your story ideas, photos, and videos. We want to hear from you, Torrance. Don't be bashful. After all, we can't do this show without you. So please, hit us up. All right. If you'd like to become a better tennis player, then I strongly suggest that you give Courtney Hans and her husband Ken a call. Just don't do it now. Wait until the end of the show, of course. I say this because not many folks in this area are better at teaching the game of tennis than these two. Their camps take place at the South Bay Tennis Center, and several Torrance residents have benefited from them over the years. Their youth camps, for example, are quite popular, and sports desk reporter Madison Reynolds is about to tell us why. After playing professionally all over the world for many years, Courtney Hans and her husband Ken decided to share their love for tennis with the Torrance community. When I decided to settle down, um, my husband and I dreamt of having our own tennis center, so that's when we uh, approached the city of Torrance and we were able, um, thank goodness, to get this wonderful facility to run. One of the most popular events at the South Bay Tennis Center is their youth summer camp, where the participants learn the basic skills of the game in a unique way. We welcome beginners. If you've never held a racket, if you've never played before, come on down. We'll teach you from A to Z how to stand, how to swing, how to compete, where to make contact with the ball. They just get better. You know, they really have a hunger for the sport. They're always like, Coach, can we do more drills? When at the beginning they're asking to do more games and it progressively becomes, Coach, what am I doing? What am I doing? And they're asking these questions to make themselves better tennis players. Here at the South Bay Tennis Center, you don't quite need to be Venus or Serena Williams in order to play. All you need is a ball, a racket, and a passion for the game. They have so much fun and this teaching them the love for tennis, like having them walk away each summer with just a little more knowledge and, and the memory that they want to come back because they had such a good time. There's a uh, time to like work and like be serious and then there's also a time to have like fun and do um, fun things and you can get better. If you're looking for a day filled with fun and friendship while also getting some great exercise in, Courtney and her staff have created the perfect environment for you. Reporting from the South Bay Tennis Center, I'm Madison Reynolds for the Sports Desk. Thank you, Madison. If you'd like to improve your tennis game, just log on to SouthBayTennisCenter.com for more information about their classes. You can also contact them directly at 310-415-1969. Now, lots of people love the game of golf, and they love it for lots of reasons. One of those reasons is the fact that you're really never too old to play. There's a women's golf club here in Torrance that meets every Thursday morning to hit the links, and the members are all over the age of 50, including one lady who is 91 years young. That is awesome. We sent Robbie Fueling to the Sea Air Golf Course recently to see what these young ladies are up to, and he files this report. Look, you don't have to have the talent of Jordan Spieth or Rory McIlroy to enjoy the game of golf. The women of this club play every week. Here's an inside look to their story. There's no books, there's no cards, and there's no bunco at this club. These are active, competitive, and social women who gather every Thursday morning for a spirited round of golf. And man, do they have fun. I've been with these wonderful ladies for 10 years. You know, we come and we just laugh and we had a wonderful, happy day together. I look forward to it. Some women join for the love of the game, yet others join for so much more. Well, other than the camaraderie, it's like another family when we come here. Good exercise, good fresh air. Good exercise is right. The women of this club don't mess around. They play a competitive 18 holes of golf. And one woman in particular has been doing it every Thursday since 1997. It's exercise. I feel that rather than going to an exercise place and paying them big money, I'd rather come here and just walk the grounds. There's no stopping this 91-year-old. Her weekly rounds of golf at this woman's club provide her the stamina to carry her own bag and walk the course. No golf cart or caddy needed. She plans on golfing for years to come and encourages others to do so as well. It's wonderful. I recommend it to anybody that doesn't, you know, that really doesn't have anything to do at home and, and are kind of homebound. Come here and play because it gives you a different outlook in life. And thank you, Robbie, for that report. Great job. If you'd like to join these ladies out on the course or simply find out more information about their club, 
you can visit torrentca.gov, just type in Sea Air Golf Course, or you can simply contact them directly at 310-325-1316. When was the last time you played bocce ball? Or better yet, have you ever played bocce ball, period? If you haven't, you might want to give it a try. Did you know that there's a bocce ball club right here in Torrance? They play over at Columbia Park, and right now more than 60 people are competing in bocce ball tournaments. And the good news is, they're looking to expand. It's real easy, anyone can join, including Madison Reynolds, who tried the sport for the very first time recently, and as you're about to see, she had some fun. Just this past February, the South Bay Bocce Club was born right here at Torrance's very own Columbia Park. With three professional-sized courts and over 60 members, Bocce Boys Bob Kyoda and Joel Mazza have seen their dreams turn to reality. People coming off the street, what, what is this game? All nationalities, what, what is this game? I explain it to them, throw a few balls out, and they're hooked. It, you don't have to be a fullback, you don't have to be eight feet tall, you don't have to be a sprinter. All you need to do is come out and throw the ball around a little bit. We teach the classes on Mondays and on Wednesdays. And it, it, we've got at least 25 plus people a day that have been coming on those dates to learn. Brand new people. Just because they've gone by here and seen it, you know, now that something's available like this. From an abandoned basketball court to a brand new bocce club, these courts have become home to both new and experienced players. I would say bocce would be a perfect game for the whole family, bring out the family, the little ones, the old ones, uh, have them come out and just practice, just throw some balls, get used to it or so. And if you like it, just come back and, and um, meet other people and play with them. It's, uh, it's a fun sport. After watching all the fun and competition, Bob offered to give me a quick lesson to learn the tricks of the game. The game is a game. Everybody's going to play. Some are better than others. People have started off from scratch. Never have seen bocce, don't know, didn't know what it was, and they have loved the game. The South Bay Bocce Club welcomes all those interested in learning the game. So if you're looking for a way to meet new people while also learning a new skill, they encourage you to come out and give it a try. Reporting from Columbia Park, I'm Madison Reynolds for the Sports Desk. Thank you, Madison. Looks like a blast. Madison's got some skills, people. Well, hey, if you'd like to join this club or just learn how to play bocce ball in general, send an email to bocce, the number four, all at gmail.com. The club is looking for new members and they're always giving lessons. So do yourself a favor and send them a message. All right, we've got plenty more to discuss after the break, so don't you dare move a muscle. Still to come, do you remember this guy? He played baseball at El Camino College, and right now he's doing big things in the show. And he's not the only one. This former Bishop Hoop player is doing work in the NBA summer camp. You're watching the Sports Desk, and we thank you for it. Spread the word and tell everyone you know. We'll be right back. That's like three treats in one right exactly. there. <laughs> oh man. One of our specialty cakes is gonna be our strawberry layer cake. I haven't seen any cake like this at any other bakery. I mean, this is amazing. This is beautiful, beautiful pastry. And if you have any leftovers, what do you do? Call Taste of Torrance and have me come by and pick them up and we'll give you a call next time to come on by. <laughs> right on. Welcome back. Hanging with Mr. Cooper was a popular sitcom back in the 90s. It's also what the 27-time World Series champion New York Yankees have been doing lately. They've been hanging with Garrett Cooper, the former El Camino College standout. Cooper was drafted by the Brewers in 2013 and was traded to the Yankees just a few weeks ago. And recently, Cooper made his Major League Baseball debut with the Yanks when they took on the dreaded Boston Red Sox at Fenway Park. And wouldn't you know, in just his third game, Cooper recorded his first major league hit with this double to left field off a of Sox starter, David Price. That is sweet. Welcome to the bigs, Koopa Loop. Looks like he hit a pretty good pitch, a little cutter on the hands there, not bad. And it didn't stop there, people. The next night against the Twins in Minnesota. Are you ready? Check this out. The former Elko star recorded his first major league RBI. And with what else? Another double to left field. Chase Headley scored on the play, which tied the game at two. 
Cooper was going off. He was three for three at that point, having one heck of a game. Man, the Yanks, who are in second place in the AL East right now, are loving this kid. Last we checked, Coop was batting 208 and five hits through seven games. Nice. And it seems Mr. Cooper wasn't the only cat rep in Torrance at the next level. Lamont Murray Jr., remember him? He had crazy skills when he was balling at Bishop Montgomery High School. He also played basketball at Pepperdine. And recently, Murray Jr. was hooping with the Miami Heat in the NBA Summer League. And let's just say he was making his presence known, especially in this game against the Washington Wizards. End of the game now, heat down one, 11 seconds left. Justin Robinson puts Miami back on top. But then we go to the final seconds. Sheldon Mack for the win. Lamon Murray Jr. says, your shot has expired. Check it out again in slow-mo. Murray Jr. preserves the win for Miami. Afterwards, he shared his thoughts. It's definitely been a fun experience, you know. It's been um, something I came from. I didn't play a lot in college my first two years. So being able to stay on the bench, be ready to come in whenever and produce when I came in, that's always been something on my mind. So it's been fun and definitely a great time. You know, definitely just show people what I can do and then have fun, play on this really high competition level and see how much better I get over the summer. Great stuff. Hopefully, Lamont will get a roster spot in the NBA this upcoming season. We'll, of course, keep you updated on his progress. Okay, finally tonight, we're going to revisit a story from our last show. It involves the two local baseball players from the Riviera Little League who competed in the Scots Pitch, Hit, and Run competition at Major League Baseball's All-Star Weekend in Miami. And if you haven't seen this video yet, you need to check it out. This is so cool. We begin with Olin Snakenborg, who competed in the 13 to 14 year old division. This is Olin during the pitching portion of the event. Check him out right there, looking good. This is truly an amazing event for these kids, man. I, I just can't stress that enough. Mateo Rickman now, you're looking at the other Torrance native, competed in the nine and 10 year old division. Let's watch Mateo now as he takes part in the base running portion of the event. Look at him go, he's got wheels, baby. Go, Mateo, go. Wow, the hitting portion is their favorite, by the way. And here's Olin with a nice drive. And then let's watch Mateo as he will make his way to the tee. And then check this blast out right here by the young fella. He's got some pop. As you can imagine, it was the thrill of a lifetime to be at this year's All-Star Game in Miami. Congratulations to both Olin and Mateo. How awesome is that, people? I am so, so jealous. Great for them. Memories to last a lifetime. Well, that does it for this week's edition of the Sports Desk. Thank you so much for joining us. As always, we appreciate your support. My name is A.J. Vatone, and I've seen, heard, and said enough for one week. We'll continue this conversation again soon, I promise. Until then, don't forget to follow the Sports Desk on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and remember, you can email us as well. We'd love to hear from you. All right, that's all the time we have, sports fans. We'll see you next time right here on the Sports Day.